Insurgency Sandstorm just came out with their latest update called Operation Accolade, which brings in some new weapons, cosmetics and a new map as well. But the update ended up being far from successful and it ended up bringing in a lot of new issues which I will be talking about in this video. So let's dive straight in. Let's go! This update features a new map called Last Light, which in my opinion plays out well and it's aesthetically pleasing, offering the player base a breeze of fresh air. The update also brings us two weapons being the SG-552 for the insurgents and the MDR for the security side. And I have to say that after playing with both of them for a bit, I'm definitely leaning against the MDR with this one. The SG felt weak and useless to me, while the MDR absolutely demolished everything on its way. The MDR actually ended up feeling a bit overpowered word maybe but I'd, I'd have to play with it more to say for sure. They did also add some new cosmetics which were nice but nothing really groundbreaking to talk about. I mean getting new skins is always great but that's not really something I'm too into so. Except for the rust and wrap skin that thing is so goddamn cool. Most of the fixes they did this update were pretty insignificant to me personally, except for the spawn protection fix, which means that people should not be able to roam the map with spawn protection on anymore. So thank you New World for that. Um, it only took you guys like, I don't know, a year or something to fix, but yay! Um, they also made the flashbangs last longer and I do think the time is a bit too long, like just a tiny bit, because I even got hit with some flashes that weren't even directly in front of me and I was still blind for a good bit and it actually ended up killing me, so not cool. Now let's talk about all the issues with this update and oh boy oh boy do I have a list for you guys now. These are only bugs that I encountered myself so there are definitely more out there but you know I don't want to be talking about something that I'm, I don't really know for sure. When you reload the MDR, it will take over a second for the magazine to actually be inside the weapon, even if the animation is already finished or you can see the mag being inserted in the weapon, but the magazine is not really inserted yet, even though it looks like it is. This thing got me killed so many times until I figured out what was going on. Like, I'm always used to firing or running when I see the animation end or the magazine being inserted in the weapon. Now, I only had this with the MDR myself, but I've heard people having similar reloading issues with other weapons as well and it will actually get you killed a lot if you're not sure what's going on. All my game settings were reset, so keybinds, video and mouse settings just gone out the window, and this was a really common thing if not actually something that happened to everyone playing this game. All of my loadout and character presets got deleted, so now I have to make my epic loadouts and absolutely stunning cosmetic choices from the beginning, which kind of sucks to be honest. The gameplay just feels weird overall, like they definitely did something to the ragdolls making them janky as hell and overall the gameplay mechanics just feel weird, like the time to kill would be a lot higher or something. I mean my guess is that this update probably messed up the hit reg somehow but I can't really say for sure. The interaction wheel now requires you to click it in order to use it for some weird reason. Um, I don't know why, like there were no issues with the way it was before, so I have really no clue what's going on with that one. Now, when I first tried to start this update up, I got anti-cheat client integrity violation message while trying to join a server. Verifying the game files on Steam did not work, but changing to my alt account made the game update something, and that ended up fixing it in the end, so I'm not really sure what it did, but I think if you have this issue, you need to either restart Steam, or actually just reinstall the whole goddamn game, which is kind of stupid actually. And guys, let me clear some things up here. I want to give massive Massive applause for the map designers and artists who worked on the new map and cosmetics. This is for you guys. Because the new map is amazing and I can't wait to play it more after they've actually fixed some of the issues I mentioned before. Right now, in my opinion, it's kind of unplayable. Like, it was so goddamn laggy and the mechanics were just all over the place that I, I, I just can't play it myself. Like, my anger issues could never. But yeah, you know, the map design and cosmetics aside, the rest of the update with its bugs and issues is a massive pile of dog sh and I do think it's unacceptable for a game like this to bring us an update without fully testing it out first. Like this game actually used to be on a triple A level and now it just feels like a goddamn school project or something. It's just, I don't know what's going on anymore. I really don't. 
But anyways, I do know that they're gonna fix these sooner or later and get it all working again. But that's not really the issue here. The issue is that the people who come back to this game after months of not playing and the people that buy this game when they see the new update being advertised, those are the people who are gonna come to this game and have a horrible experience with it, which will result in them never ever playing this game ever again. And that's really not a good thing for a game that is already slowly dying off. I mean, at least how I personally see it, updates should always aim to bring more people in instead of driving people away from the game, but you know. Anyways guys, that's my take for the new update and I do hope to see it get better soon. Please do let me know what you think about the update in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about your experiences and opinions as well. And if you do have any fixes for these problems, please let us know. I will pin your comment if there's anything we can do about uh, anything for that matter, like settings or anything like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, you can best support my channel and my work by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That is the absolute best way to help me grow my community and, you know, just boost my views and whatnot. But yeah, that is it for today and I will see you guys in the next one.